Okay, here is FRQ number four from the 2023 AP Physics 2 exam. Solutions aren't released, so this is my best guess at some solutions. Um, if I have any mistakes, I will put it as a pinned comment. So particles A and B each have a positive charge plus Q and are held at fixed. The two vertices of an equilateral triangle of a side length D, as shown, point P is located equidistant from each vertex of the triangle. Students Y and Z discuss the electric field and the electric potential at point P after a third charge is placed at the bottom right vertex. Students make the following statements. Student Y, if a particle with a positive charge plus two Q is placed at the bottom right vertex, the magnitude of the electric field will zero at point P. Student Z, to make the value of the electric potential zero at point P, a particle with negative charge should be placed at the bottom right vertex. Okay. In a coherent paragraph length response, evaluate the accuracy of each student's statement. If any aspect of either student's statement is inaccurate, explain how to correct the student's statement. Support your evaluation using appropriate physics principles. Okay, so if we put a positive 2Q here, right? Remember the potential that you're going to calculate, potential is KQ over R, right? These will all be positive quantities. There's no way that it's going to make it zero. Okay, um, the magnitude electric, oh, oh actually, so there, the, he's asking about the electric field. The electric field, okay, so let's let's talk about student Y first. The electric field is um, KQ over R squared, but it's a vector quantity. So we have to draw, and, and remember the electric field is the direction that a positive charge would feel. So we wanna think of it, I almost think of it as like a free body, like a force free body diagram because it's really the force that a positive charge would, would feel there. So if you had a positive charge here, it would feel a force up to the right, it would feel a force down to the right, and then it'll have a feel of force this way. Now that, now you might ask you, well, is that going to add up to zero, right? Well, because this one is a greater charge, this length of this arrow is gonna be greater. So that's not gonna add to zero, okay? So um, student Y is incorrect on that point. So what is incorrect is, is it shouldn't be a positive Q charge. If it was a positive single charge, then that arrow would be the same length as those three arrows because it's the same distance. And thus then it could, then it could theoretically, yeah, it would add to zero at that point. But because it's a greater length, greater force there, that, that's not gonna be balanced. It's not going to add to zero. So for a student Y is incorrect, because, and I would explain just in general, the E field is uh, the sum of the, you know, E field from each charge. Which is KQ over R squared. Because all three all three um, vertices are equidistant from P, having a larger charge plus two Q will not make the vectors add to zero. So we wanna say how to correct it instead a charge of positive Q plus Q would make the E field zero, make the total E field, oops, E field zero. Okay, what's wrong with student Z? Student Z says you should put a negative Q here and the potential is the sum of KQ over R. Remember, potential is not a vector quantity. That's a scalar quantity. So when you add this up, like if you did the potential just like this, they're all the same distance. It would be KQ over R plus KQ over R minus or plus K negative Q over R. That's not going to add to zero. You would need to make this negative 2Q in order to add the potential. Okay, so um, student y, Z is wrong because negative Q would only make the net potential, the potential equal to KQ over R. That's because, and you can write that out. You could write out that formula, KQ over R plus KQ over R minus KQ 
over r is not equal to 0. Instead, a charge of negative 2q would make the potential 0. OK, a little bit long, but hopefully you get to the point. That is what I would say as my answer. OK, particles A and B are once again held in place, two vertices of the equilateral triangle. Students want to represent the electric potential very of a system particles when a third charged particle is brought from very far away to the bottom right vertex. Scenarios 1 and 2 are considered. Scenario 1, a third particle with positive plus Q is moved from very far away to the bottom right vertex and then held in place. A bar is shown on the following chart that represents the electric potential energy mu... I1 of the system consisting of all three particles when the third particle with positive charge is very far away from the other particles. In the grid provided, complete the chart. Draw a bar to represent the work required to move the third particle with positive charge from very far away to the bottom right vertex. Draw another bar to represent the electric potential energy of the system consisting of all three particles when the third particle with positive charge is held in place at the bottom right of the vertex. The height of each bar should be proportional to the energy represented. If the quantity is zero, write zero in that column. Okay, so definitely gonna take some work. How much work is it going to take to move a plus Q? So the work it's going to take is going to equal Q times the potential, the, the change in potential. So that's positive Q because we're bringing a positive Q charge from very far away to this point. Okay, so, and then what is the potential? The potential at this point is each side is length D. So you would just do, it's the potential is K positive Q over D plus K positive Q over D. That is the amount of work. It would be 2kq squared over d squared. So that's the work it's going to take to bring the charge in. Okay. Now, what is the existing energy of the system? Okay. Um, <clears throat> that would just be q. That would be like the energy it takes to just construct these two things, right? So that'd be q times the change in. Again, similarly, how much energy is stored is just how much work it took to bring these two charges together. So that would be the charge positive Q, and that would be times K big Q over D squared. Oh, not D, not, not squared. I don't know why I put squared there, just over D, right? And so that's K Q squared over D. So that's the initial energy of the system, okay, is K Q squared over D. Actually, so the initial energy. So the, the amount of work we're going to do is going to be twice as much times the initial energy. So when I draw this guy's work, it should be four of these bars and it's positive work. Why positive work? Because each of these charges would be pushing on this charge. So when I bring it closer, I have to do positive work. I got to push on it. It's not, you know, like it's repelling. Those two charges are going to repel this guy. So I have to do positive work on that. Okay. So what's the total energy is the work plus the initial energy is where we're going to end up, right? So you're just going to make six squares, right? And that makes, hopefully that makes sense. That is the total energy in that system. The work is the energy you started with plus how much work you did. That is how much energy you ended with. Okay, in scenario two, parge with negative Q is moved from very far away to the bottom right vertex and held in place, bar shown. Draw a bar representing work required. Now this, because it's negative Q, it's gonna be trying to be pulled in. Okay, so it's gonna be sucked in. That means I gotta push, I gotta move it in, but I gotta hold it back. I gotta, it's like wanting to run to those other positive charge particles, right? But I gotta hold it back. So I gotta do negative work because my force is opposite the direction of the motion. So the work is going to be negative, but it's the same amount because all the charges are the same, just sort of like more like this instead. <clears throat> okay, and again, four squares versus two squares. And then when you add these two together, you'll just get with negative two squares over here like this. Okay, and um, that's it.